Hello, 10 verses today, and so a little bit more than yesterday for sure. Uh, so where are we? We've begun the second missionary journey. It's Paul and Silas, and presumably Titus. And they're going to pick up someone else in the verses we're reading today. They don't have John Mark. Uh, verse 16, 1. Uh, and Paul, and he came both into Derby and into Lystra. Lystra. So a new with an epsilon in front of it is almost always a movable new. Eh uh, is a second person, is a third person singular uh, past tense active indicative ending. With the sigma, it's an aorist act. So I know just from those three letters, again, you should know this by now, sen, aorist active indicative third singular. And it's from katantao. Uh, so that's an augment, and that's a uh, vowel, a contract verb, uh, alpha contract verb. So they, they met into Derby. They came into Derby. And behold, a certain disciple was there, Timothy by name, a dative, imperfect of a me, son of a woman, of a Jewish woman, of a faithful Jewish woman, three genitives in a row here. Um, so uh, we know her name is Eunice from Second Timothy and of a Greek father. Okay, so this is a mixed mar marriage. And I've talked about some of these things in the podcast uh, version. Uh, two, uh, who was being witnessed by the in Lystra and Iconium brothers. Um, in other words, uh, he, was, he, he had good references. And uh, this is uh, the present stem, martureo, with an augment. Present stem with an augment is what tense? Imperfect. Okay, so that's where I got the was. To is a third person singular, middle or passive ending. Amenu et al. Uh, and so it's um, uh, uh, was being because it's passive. So it's imperfect, passive, indicative, third singular uh, from martureo, a contract verb, which is why we have the A with the police line on the top saying there's been a crash here. Okay, who was being witnessed by the, here's a typical Greek construction, the brothers. Uh, in Lystra and Iconium. Sometimes city names are plural, probably because of, of there being districts in the cities. Um, cities, uh, it, it seems to me, uh, I have a theory uh, that cities came together uh, by kind of a convergence of tribes. Uh, and so it becomes one city eventually, but there are deems in the city that represent earlier tribes. Um, anyway, okay, verse three. Paul, nominative, wanted this guy to come out with him. Uh, a lot of emphasis on Paul, singular, singular, even though we know there are other people with him, Silas, Titus. Um, so Paul finds Timothy uh, at Lystra and decides he wants him to come along. Um, he's good. This guy's got some muscles. He can carry my luggage. Um, but uh, he's testified to be a good Christian, apparently. Um, although apparently not as good of a Jew, because now... Uh, and having taken him, he circumcised him. <laughs> uh, okay, um, so this this is a sen again. What a sen? Aristact indicative third singular from uh, thelo. Uh, it's a little weird in its aorist form. It just it it doesn't it doesn't begin with a vowel, but it adds an eta. Who you know what's up with that? Um, uh, elf is what stem? Aorist stem and ain is what ending? Infinitive. So this is an aorist active infinitive from ex urkamai. Lobbing you an aorist. Uh, present active and uh, aorist active indicative nominative masculine singular from lambano. Uh, having taken. Having because it's aorist. He circumcised. So the the um, uh, new with an epsilon in front of is a movable new. Epsilon new is that third person singular active indicative past tense ending. Uh, Peritimao, I think, is is this word. Let me just double check myself. Uh, verse three. Uh, peritemno. Peritemno is this word. Peritemno. Uh, but it is a liquid verb, right? Mm, and so that's why it doesn't have a sigma. It is aorist, but it doesn't have a sigma. So this is aorist active indicative third singular from peritemno, and the epsilon here is the augment. Having taken, he circumcised him on account of the Jews. The being with him, Jew, or the 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 being in the, the places those Jews. Again, we have to kind of learn how to dance with the Greek text. 
uh, because of the Jews that were in those places is, is a fine translation. This is a participle. My aunt is an active participle. Uh, participle ending without a word is a participle of a me, the being verb. So the ones being, I, I stuck a ones in there because it's it's substantive. There's no noun. It doesn't say, well, it does actually. It's not substantive. It's attributive because Jews, talking about Jews, the Jews who were. Um, it has the article, so we're going to put a who in front of it. The Jews who were in the places those. For all they knew. They all knew. This is the, um, it's, it's the past tense of oida. If you remember, oida means to know. Uh, and oida is, we say it's perfect in form, but present in meaning. So this is pluperfect in form and past in meaning. For they all knew that uh, a Greek, the father of him, was. Um, so um, order is interesting here. Uh, huparko, uh, it means to be or to exist. <coughs> this would seem to be <coughs> an imperfect. Um, he was being a Greek, um, not that he would change it or could change it. Verse four. So, so Timothy has a uh, a Greek father and a Jewish mother. Uh, Jewish reckoning goes through the mother, and so he's a Jew. And so Paul circumcises him because he's a Jew. He just doesn't know it, or he hasn't he hasn't embraced it. And now Paul, as I said in the podcast, has two helpers, one of whom to help him inter, uh, intersect with G Gentiles and one to help him intersect with Jews. Verse 4. And as they were going through the cities, uh, dia pere, peru omai, oh omai, oh it's deponent, but it, all the letters of the present stem are there just with an augment. So I would say it's what tense? Present stem with an augment? Imperfect tense. Um, deponent, because omai, oh peru omai, oh uh, indicative third plural. And as they were going through the cities, they were entrusting to them, that is the cities, uh, the, 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 uh, the reduplication of the delta is here, but with an iota. Uh, so this is didomi, paradidomi. Um, it's the present stem with an augment, which tells me what tense? Imperfect, right? Um, imperfect, active, indicative, third plural. They were entrusting to them to keep, present, active, infinitive, the dogmas. Uh, the commands, the, the Jerusalem decree, the commands, the having been commanded, the having been decided commands. So this is a perfect, because it's a little beside itself, uh, reduplication. Um, I guess the ending is shoved right on the stem. In fact, there was a new there that went away. It was so shoved, the new, where did the new go? Um, uh, so uh, it is a perfect passive participle. Men are passive participles from crino. Uh, so it's the decrees, the... Uh, having been decided, uh, if it has the article, use who or that. So uh, the decrees that having been decided, and then bring it on down, stage three, the decrees that had been decided. Um, this is the attributive use of the adjective because the noun it goes with is right there. And it is adjectival uh, when it has the article. Okay, by the apostles and elders, the in Jerusalem apostles and elders. Okay, uh, verse five. Therefore, on the one hand, the churches were being strengthened. So, uh, stereo, um, let me get the precise form here. Uh, verse 5, are we in verse 5 or verse 5? Um, yeah, stereo, stereo, to strengthen, stereo. So, it's contract verb with an omicron, which is crash. We have a police line that says, there's been a crash here. Uh, so, it's present stem with an augment, which tells me it's what tense? Imperfect, right? imperfect, uh, passive, um, uh, actually, let's go with middle. Um, well, no, it's, it, it is passive, isn't it? Therefore, the churches were being strengthened, uh, so it's passive. So it's, it's uh, imperfect, passive, indicative, third plural from stereo. stereo. Um, therefore, the churches were being strengthened in faith, and they were abounding in number every day. Okay, verse 6. Uh, and they went through the Phrygia and Galatian country. Notice these are treated as one country, um, middle and uh, a little bit to the north uh, west. Um, having been prevented, theta epsilon tells me what? Tense and voice? Eris passive. Unt tells me it's a participle, eris passive participle. S tells me it's nominative masculine plural from uh, koluo. Uh, having, because it's aorist, been, because it's passive, um, having been prevented by the spirit, 
by the Holy Spirit to speak, aorist active uh, infinitive, the word in Asia, so they can't take a left turn, uh, seven, and having come uh, near Mysia, uh, aorist because of the elf, participle, active participle, aorist active participle, nominative masculine plural from Urkamai, uh, they were trying to go into Bithynia. Uh, this is imperfect because it's the present stem with an augment. Uh, this is, um, it's aorist passive in form, aorist passive infinitive, but peru omai, oh it's deponent. So aorist passive deponent infinitive. And uh, the spirit of Jesus did not permit them. So sen is what? Sen, aorist active indicative third singular from uh, eao, I believe. Uh, let me just double check. Eao, uh, eao uh, is correct. Okay. Uh, Verse 8, and having come into Mysia, uh, so they're now at the coast, the upper western uh, end of Turkey today, but it's Greek back then, as I say in the podcast, there's no big cultural divide between uh, Asia and Greece. It's all Greek. There are no Turks around at this point. Uh, they won't come for years and years and years. Uh, Elf is aorist, uh, aorist active uh, participle nominative masculine plural from parurkamai. Par uh, they descended into Troas. Um, this is katabino, the Ino is missing, it's aorist. There's the augment, san is third person plural ending. So aorist active indicative third plural from katabino. They descended into Troas, getting down near the shore. Usually the land goes down as you approach the shore. And a vision in the night appeared to Paul. Uh, this is the aorist passive a theta eta of Horao. Uh, a Macedonian, a certain Macedonian man appeared to Paul. Uh, 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 a, okay, a certain Macedonian man was standing. This is a paraphrastic form of the verb to be, the imperfect of me, and the perfect passive, uh, perfect active participle of his me. He was having stood. Um, he was standing. Uh, a little bit more meaning than that, uh, but but that's probably. Uh, the best English. He was standing and encouraging him and saying, present active participle, what was he saying? Having come across into Macedonia, help us. So this is an aorist active participle, nominative masculine singular. Uh, this is, uh, uh, looks like a uh, lu, eh, lu, 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 san, aorist, the san, don't let the theta eta throw you off. The word is boi, bo, a, theo, um, so the theta eight is actually the real hair. It's not a wig. It doesn't come off. San tells you it's an aorist active imperative second plural. You, Paul, it's directed at Paul, right? You, singular, help us. Uh, verse 10. And as he saw the vision, aorist of uh, Horao, immediately we sought to come into Macedonia. So we, what is this we? Uh, this is Luke. The, whoever the author of Acts is, the, the author of Acts has now joined Paul uh, on the journey. Uh, this is one of the characteristics of the book of Acts, that the author was apparently a sometimes traveling companion uh, of Luke, although some have suggested that, that uh, the author of Acts may be using a source, uh, although it would be weird to use we uh, from a source when it wasn't you. At least it would be weird in our world. Maybe we'll talk about that before uh, we're done with this series. Uh, Sigma Alpha tells me it's aorist. Uh, Men tells me it's active indicative. Uh, so it's aorist active indicative first uh, plural from zeteo. We were seeking to enter into Macedonia, aorist active infinitive, uh, having uh, being convinced, present, uh, present participle, present active participle, uh, being convinced that God has called us, perfect, see the reduplication, passive, uh, part because it's uh, pros kaleo. Um, uh, interesting, maybe middle, a perfect middle. God has called us um, to preach the gospel to them. Sigma Alpha tells me this is aorist. Uh, Sthai tells me it's an aorist passive infinitive, but euangelizo mai, it's deponent, so passive deponent. And there you have the Greek, 10 verses of Greek today uh, from the beginning of Acts chapter 16.